Welcome back to another episode of Drop. I'm your host, Mike. If you're new to the channel, please guys don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Also, visit me on MarArtist11 on Instagram. I'm always dropping the latest dates and reviews of my latest shows coming up. So, without further ado, let's get this show started. I'm super excited for episode number six, and I'm glad you guys spent some time with me today. So, I've got my House of Kings gold and black sweater on, which only means one thing. I'm reviewing the gold pack, which was released November 30th. It was two shoes. So, let's start with shoe number one. So, here we have the patented gold leather shoe. Super, super clean with the white leather and the black swoosh on the side. This shoe, guys, when I first saw it, I mean, I just had to add it to the collection. It looks like a trophy to me. So, I mean, what collector wouldn't want to have this? So, it didn't matter if it was a low or a high. The mid is coming out with some sick colorways. This is just another one. Um, they went with the black bottom, which is awesome because it's easy to rock out in the streets. It won't, you know, show all the dirtiness. They have the white midsole. Again, the patented gold leather. You're going to see some close-ups right now in the video. So, let's get to it. After seeing the close-ups of shoe number one, I mean, you guys can see this shoe is fire. I don't care if it was a high or a low, the mids are coming back. Um, I was able to secure my pair on member axis early, so it was good even though it was a general release and it didn't sell out in minutes. If it was a high, it would've. I also hit a size seven on a raffle at the mall, so I've got an extra pair to sell. But these shoes are super, super clean. Shoe number one, guys, the mid SE gold. Gold pack number one. Let's check out shoe number two. Before we jump into the review of shoe number two, I gotta tell you how I got it. So this next one is a high. Um, it was also released on November 30th, the mid Jordan one. Um, I didn't get it on sneakers app. I missed on all the raffles at the malls. So I thought I just missed it. But what's great about the sneaker community is you have friends and they also have a love for sneakers and the passion. So I had a friend who actually hit my size of this shoe and I was able to hit a size for him on this shoe. I wasn't really going after it even though this shoe is super clean. Um, it just released. This is the Jordan 9 University Blue. I mean again this shoe is awesome but I'm glad to have gotten a pair for my friend because he really wanted it so we traded. So again awesome thing about this sneaker community is that people will look out for each other that way so hopefully in the future if there's a shoe that he needs or a shoe that i need and we're able to do the same thing or with anybody else that's super cool trades are also super cool so let's get down to shoe number two which is this box jordan one you already know shoe number two it's important to note that as a reseller and collector that you know that your investment is going to go up over time Nothing changes with this next shoe. Um, the Jordan patented leather ones usually go up over time. It takes a little bit longer, but if you hold on to it, you'll see that the price and your investment, you're gonna get a return, a profit. This shoe released four times before in different colorways, but kind of similar. The first one was the patented gold toe, a size 10, now resales for $405. The black, white, and gold patented, size 10, resales for $385. The patented gold top three, size 10, resells now for $628. And the patented black metallic gold, 
Similar to this shoe I'm about to show you, size 10 and a half now resells for $1,750. So as you can see guys, similar colorways are gonna go up over time. I'm excited about this one. Again, I didn't hit it myself, but I had a friend that we were able to trade. I hit a shoe for him. So let's get down to the shoe. Shoe number two, the black metallic gold colorway. I love the patented leather on the Jordan 11, but this whole shoe is patented leather. Um, there's a lot of people that like this colorway. Uh, the gold and black, don't get me wrong, is sick combination. But on this shoe, it is a collector shoe. I'm glad I got it. But to rock it, I don't know if I would ever wear it. I don't know. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think. It does come with an extra pair of sick gold laces, so that would be kind of cool to see it. Um, I am going to leave this one dead stock in case I ever resell or trade in the future. But again, guys, let me know what you think. I think they are fire. They're just not my style. But let's get some close-ups so you can see what I'm seeing. So there you have shoe number two, the black and gold metallic Jordan 1. Guys, comment, let me know what you guys think. Was this caliente or was it miel? Compared to the Jordan 1 gold, both of them are super, super clean. I'm glad to add them to the collection. Again, guys, thank you very much for stopping by for episode number six of Drop the Gold Edition. I got my House of Kings gold and black sweater on, so guys, go check them out. Also, don't forget to check out my Mar Artist 11 page where I'm also dropping the dates and releases of these shows coming up. Don't forget to check out my other five previous shows. And once again, guys, have a great day. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.